inflation or headline inflation uh, figures are out. They're within expectations. The food and non-beverages inflation though, jumped from 10.5 to 10.8 percent. What's driving that sector of the inflation basket? Pretty much all the categories that are being monitored in there were pretty much driving up this, uh, the, this inflation. But we did see a bit of a relief on the meat side and to some extent on the vegetable side. And all of those were pretty much driven by the increase on the supply, on the supply side of the meat because a lot of farmers have been slaughtering some of their cattle since they couldn't feed them. Okay, so that's meat on the one hand, but what about vegetables and, and fats and oils? What's happening in that sector? What's bringing those prices down? These historical figures of the last month of June on an oil and veg is pretty much driven by what the trends are on the sunflower market, on the sunflower seed market, as well as the sunflower oil market in the international side. So these are the benefits that we are actually seeing in, in, in this. Okay, so we've got those lower meat prices now, but what about milk? What's going to happen to milk production and milk costs, in fact? Going on to summer, every year you see milk production actually going down. But now that is actually coming on in the season where we also having drought. So you can expect milk production to pretty much be at the lower levels now. And that is going to be with us and the prices will start to respond this month and looking forward up until pretty much, I could say, December. Now, obviously the biggest part of this equation is the consumer and the fact that they're earning less, they have less disposable income and it looks like they're going to be paying more for some of those food products in the next 6 to 12 months. Why is that? It's pretty much not a, a, a good picture to look at. We say that because even if La Nina does materialize, we will have the rainfall and that rainfall means that now people who are on livestock, they're starting to rebuild their heads and they're culling less. And now you're looking at the crop side, the guys will be starting to look at planting and they will only get the bit of a harvesting around about mid-2017 or in April or so. That's when you harvest. But for that to hit the shelves, you have a lag of about six months or so.